How is everybody doing? I am so glad you are with us today. Steve DeVal from Thor Motor Coach along with Ryan Burkhart, and we are talking everything Ace today. Ryan, how are you? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me today, Steve. Glad you're here to talk about Ace, the family-friendly, pet-friendly motorhome that is the original evolution, I like to call it. So as we go through this, folks, I want to uh, just kind of remind you, some of us, like uh, Ken, I know you've been with us uh, through a lot of these. Ask your questions down in below where it says ask a question tab. That que that tab is filling up fast, Ryan. So uh, we got a lot of questions to get through throughout the day. Uh, and as you join us in the comment section, if you hit the plus section, you can always ask a question that way as well. So however you want to ask a question, we will get to those a little bit later on. But first, what we want to do is talk everything we can about ACE. So Ryan, I'll let you get started. Uh, Tom has a little slideshow for us built. Let's talk yeah. about the ACE, how it evolved, what it means for, because ACE is really more than just ACE. It stands for, it's an acronym. So take us through the Class A, Class C evolution. Yeah, uh, thanks, Steve. So uh, ACE is unique where the, the name actually has a meaning behind it, Class A, Class C evolution. So what we did was a whole bunch of research back in 2011 and we wanted to basically morph a Class C and a Class A together and take the best features for the customers and combine them in the one motorhome on there. Um, our goal is to keep it simple and just use the feedback that we received over the years from customers of what they liked out of best uh, of those classes. Um, you know, when customers did their shopping, they're looking at dealers a lot, sometimes the, the Class A's were, were skipped um, during the initial buying step on the, the research. Um, for some reason, customers thought the Class A's were always well over, you know, a uh, hundred grand out of their their price point on there. So this motorhome almost provided a lot shock the the customers when they're out looking uh, for the the coach. And you know, we'll go over some features, Steve. But this motorhome quickly became, you know, one of the best selling Class A's out there in the market. And, and as we um, talk about this, about the both, both classes, kind of talk about what it is, the features of the C and the uh, features of the A that we've kind of merged together to create the A's. Yeah. So one of the big things was we, with that front windshield, Steve. Our, mm -hmm. our research was showing us that that was one of the reasons people weren't jumping up to that class A right away. Um, they always felt too intimidated to sit behind that large windshield so the ACE is unique where we're the only ones out there sizing our windshield in between a class A and a class C for driver comfort. Um, we chose to build this on the, the F53 chassis, the A chassis. So the benefit customers get off of that is they get higher cargo carrying capacities. Um, you know, my wife and I, we took out a, a motorhome last year and mm -hmm. us and probably all the other customers can relate, by, we overpacked. Um, we didn't use half the stuff that we brought along with us that we thought we needed um, on there where this, you know, this motorhome is going to allow that for people to bring along all their stuff that they want. And not only they can bring it along, but there's there's a space for it um, outside in the exterior storage. You know, the cooler, um, the lawn chairs, the table that can all be stored outside the motorhome. It doesn't have to be stored inside their living area. You know, yeah, that's, you know, one, the, uh, that's one of the reasons that people are, are buying a motorhome, they want to move around going down the road. They don't want to be stepping over that launcher, the cooler, the table. Right. And it's one to, you know, uh, just to, to go along with you, we took an ACE out uh, a couple of years back, uh, myself, hmm. we have a family of four. And like you, we overpacked, we brought everything we thought we needed, some extras, and yeah. we still had three or four empty storage bays on the outside. Oh, very nice. Yes. Yeah, so it's always it's always great. So let's keep uh, let's keep rolling here because we got uh, windshield. Uh, I think did we cover everything on that last slide? Tom, go back one slide for us here. Uh, keep going here because this is a lot of uh, a lot of details here. So keep go going in here on what. Yeah, uh, one of the other uh, benefit the customers get is the the class A view. Um, not only for the the driver, the passenger, but when you think about it, you know the kids are sitting in the back. They're not. They can see out the front windshield. They're not looking at that cab over on a class C. They can see the, the Grand Canyon up and coming um, on that trip that they wanted to. Uh, the sleeping was a big one. You know, before the ACE came out, that drop down bed in the front, uh, class C's could always win out over the class A's because they had that cab over where they could sleep one to two additional more people. Um, another big one is legroom. 
uh, in the cockpit area. You know, they get the the class A luxury, the class A being able to stretch their feet out in the comfy captain chairs up there. And then when they pull into the campsite, it's useful space. Um, both seats they can swivel around and use that for entertainment if they would get other people that would be coming over and sitting in that living area. And then a big focus was using, you know, we took some of the most popular class C floor plans and brought them over to the A body, which that really hit a, a sweet spot in the size of ranging from 27, the, you know, they originally started from 31. Now we want a couple, a uh, big couple more feet. But it's still that sweet spot out there in the industry of 27 to 33 feet. Yeah, and you'll be able to see as we go through the floor plans, they all kind of perfectly match up with the floor plan, the length of the motorhome. And one of the things that really sets the Ace apart, and there are a couple of different, we like to call them the family features and the pet-friendly features. So walk us yeah. through the family-friendly features because this really is a great entry-level Class A motorhome for people to get into and just explore this great country of ours. So go ahead, slide, take it back one slide here, Tom, before we show you putting your shoes in the mudroom. <laughs> uh, take us back once so we can run down the uh, run down the list here. There we go. Yeah, and this is important that they cater this motorhome around the, the family, the pets, um, user-friendly features that we'll go over here in a second. But let, let's first concentrate on the family-friendly where, you know, an all vinyl floor. Uh, I think every owner that's had a motorhome that used to have carpet can appreciate the fact that there's, there's no carpet inside this motorhome. Easy to clean, uh, whether it be for the pets or the kids tracing through there. Um, I remember that the first phase that we did was we took you know, the, the carpet out of the living area, but we still had it up front in the cockpit. Um, that was on next model year's change. Um, you know, consumers were telling us, you know, that they would go outside to eat or take a hike or something. They walk back in on a rainy day um, and then their shoes are soaking into that carpet up front. Um, so we took that out. Um, a laptop seat. Go ahead, Steve. I was going to say uh, one more thing to mention on that vinyl floor is talk a little bit about the way that we install this, because this isn't just some sort of hack job where we piece things together. We roll this out in one sheet to try to limit the amount of seams. Yeah. Um, before we you know, build anything on top of that, uh, all of our guys, they lay the vinyl as a complete one piece, because imagine if we were trying to install the vinyl after the coach was built. Um, you know, you'd have a seam all the way around by all the cabinetry on there. Uh, another right. uh, family friendly feature is the kind of unique for us is that laptop station um, up front. It's one of the, the largest, the widest ones in the industry. We actually use it from our one of our high end gas coaches, the Challenger. It's the same one that's in the, the Ace. Another family feature that I love, probably one of my favorite, is on the 30.3, um, an outside kitchen um, yeah, that was put on that. Nice. That is nice. I know we have a, a shot of that uh, somewhere uh, to show. Yeah, and, and talk about what that is equipped with. Yeah, it comes with a, a mini refrigerator. Um, it comes with a sink out there, some cabinetry to be stored. Um, what's what's nice about that, a lot of people don't realize this, Steve, is that mini fridge, we actually hook it up to a 1,000-watt inverter. So most of the customers are coming maybe from a travel trailer where the only time that mini fridge works is when they're plugged in the shore power. Our customers on this floor plan get a bonus where now they have two refrigerators. So they can store their food, some beverages outside in that mini fridge, and it's kept cold going down the road and, and ready for them when they get to their destination. Uh, I want to say hi to Daniel, who is now joining us. Hey, Daniel, thanks for the question. Go um, down to the ask a question. Go ahead and put in your question there or click the plus sign so we can kind of go through and queue uh <clears throat> excuse me the questions here and we will get through all the floor plans in a second but thanks for being with us today daniel i appreciate it all right ryan let's keep continuing because we got so many great features to yeah. talk about in here yeah tom's been showing us that picture of the uh, unique thing in the mudroom uh in in this ace where right at the entrance of the door is a spot for people to put their muddy shoes per for kids um where they're not tracing into your motor home out there uh we saw a couple other uses from customers over the years. Um, people have gotten creative. If they've had cats, uh, we're seeing that used as a, a litter box area. Um, no longer do they have to cut a hole inside a motorhome somewhere that, that fit this litter box. Um, they're, they're quite happy there's a designated area for it. And then also in that entrance is really unique. 
we've used up every single amount of storage possible. And this is a lot of times overlooked when customers are up shopping on dealers lots is their storage in the stairs. Um, the top step lifts open, perfect spot to put some tools in. Um, that bottom step is a pull out drawer. Um, another pet friendly feature where you can put the dog leash right there. You don't have to trace all the way back inside the coach to grab that leash before you go on the walk. Yeah, very nice. We'll get to some of these more pet friendly features. Hey, hello from Dayton, Ohio. Thanks for tuning in today. We appreciate it. Uh, a couple other things we want to talk about here uh, moving on. And it's, it's a question we get a lot, Ryan, in a lot of our units is yeah. the child safety tether. And yes, the ACE has one. So kind of talk us through that. Yep. And, and that's new for us within the last couple of years here. And again, that was a, a C-class feature uh, that we brought over to the, the class A side of the industry out there was you know, safety is one of the most important things that people are looking at when they're buying a motor home. Um, and they want to make sure that they're, uh, especially for us, we have young kids. We'd want to anchor in that car seat for, you know, our one-year-old. Um, and now we have that built into the ACE as an option uh, in all the, the floor plans. Uh, moving on down the list, one of the things that I appreciated uh, with my kids when I went, and I'm sure you did as well when you're driving, and it's one of those little details, and it's one of those things that I think Thor does really, really, really well. The little details, such as the conversation mirror, it really adds just an element of being involved on the drive and the conversations, and you can look back and say, hey, sit down, <laughs> whatever, you know, whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah, you're not on an island, I like to call it, where, you know, you're not closed off by the slide out. You can you can see everybody in the back, what's going on as the safety feature, what you're talking about. Or, you know, on that journey, you know, a lot of memories are made during the road trip um, where you're not missing out up there. You can engage with people in the back. You can see what's going on and, and make those memories with your uh, family. And one of the things uh, that I think on all the floor plans as we talk about, and I'm sure it's something that you like to show off uh, to customers when you are out, the way we design our floor plans is nothing is shut off when you're driving down the road. If you need to grab a sandwich or if you need to use the restroom, you can do that while the slides are in. Even if you're boondocking somewhere, uh, say a Walmart where you can't put your slides out, you still have access to everything. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you want that family to be able to move around. You always want to be able to get to the fridge, the bathroom, and the, the bed, um, you know, whether that slide out's closed in. All right. Uh, hello from Myrtle Beach. They Oh, this is great. Hey, listen to this comment, Ryan. Ready? Uh, yeah. We. This is from Sue. We've been full-timing in our 2019 Ace 33-1 since February 15th. We love our 33-1. Very nice. Glad to hear yeah. that. Yeah, that's awesome, Sue. That's a great floor plan. I love that. Thank you very much, Sue, for tuning in today. And Ryan, I'll let you uh, continue on with your presentation. Yeah, Tom's got a, another feature that we've added here recently. Um, USBs. I mean, all the technology that the kids are going to have, the parents are going to have. Um, throughout the, the whole coach, we added more USBs throughout the charge, um, these items. And then back in the bedroom, you can see right there is a 12-volt adapter. So if our customers are going to be dry camping, um, they can use that to charge anything or if they have an adapter for a CPAP machine, um, there's an outlet right there for them. Yeah, and they're found throughout. Uh, and this is another great option here. So, okay, we got uh, mom and dad in the bedroom. They got things plugged in there. Kids are out here. Let's talk about the sleeping options because you get the bunkhouse model. We're talking up to 10. So walk us through the sleeping options you can get in the ACE. Yeah, so sleeping option uh, back in the bunk, you'd have two back in the, the king size bed, um, one kid each for each bunk, and then the dinette, sofa, and the, the cab over um, on this. Tom's showing a picture of that bunk right now. What's awesome, too, is each kid gets their, their own TV with a built-in DVD player. What we love is there's a, a spot to plug in headphones um, to this, so you don't have two different movies blaring um, out loud, and it keeps the kids in, entertained. And then as we go on, uh, something to talk about, too, and it goes on to the whole ace. You can see in the picture down to your left, folks, um, that that overhead bunk comes standard on every floor plan. Mm -hmm. and, and let's talk about that bunk, too. I would get that picture pulled up. What's unique for the ace out there is all that cabinetry storage wrapped all the way around it. And that's one thing that we love is for kids storage for clothes. Um, mama's happy. 
during the day because guess what that bed's up and it's hiding all the clothes um you know they're not using your living room cabinetry uh, you can leave that for other items like your pantry um or you can use it for hidden storage if it's just him and her um it's a lockable storage area there's actually a key that you need to be able to bring that bed up and down and you yeah. know most of the other class a's don't have that they have just a safety net up there and we really like i said on the entry of the the stairs we try to use up every single amount of storage space possible and we even expanded the storage uh was it was it uh, you can correct me on the date i believe it was last year we expanded that brow over the front so the storage bins up top over that bunk are even deeper absolutely all right let's talk pet friendly because this is really uh this is set up to bring all your buddies along yeah absolutely there's really not many motorhomes out there that are catering to you know man's best friend um that's going to be coming along with you um and so we got a couple of different options right there is probably one of the the customer's favorite is the we call it the doggy window um, where they can curl up by your feet and look out the window going down the road um, on that. Not, we didn't come up with it for that reason. Uh, what we originally did was we looked at the 18 wheelers, the semis, um, where they have that trucker window, um, where the driver can see in a blind spot area and see if there's a motorcyclist beside them or you know, as our customers are moving around campsites back and in, um, they have another advantages of what's beside them as they're, they're moving that motor home. And, and I can attest to dogs loving that because that dog right there, that's mine. That is <laughs> uh, we have two when we went on an ACE trip a couple of years ago. Uh, he loved it. I mean, he would lay up in the dash because the dash is really wide. I mean, if we were out and the, the generators on and the AC is running, he would sit up there and be like, hey, this is great. Love the ride. Love the doggy window and a lot of the other pet features that I'll let you yeah. talk about here now. Yeah, the a couple of the other pet friendlies. Every Ace floor plan has a um, built-in food and water bowl uh, inside all of these. So usually it's going to be located in the the bathroom. This one's located back there in the the bedroom for your dog, but it's easy to remove. You can lift it right up and out to clean it. Um, if our customers don't have a pet, it's another opportunity for storage um, to put underneath there. Yeah, that bowl just lifts right out for cleaning. It's 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 really easy. And outside, a couple of the other things, uh, we had an exterior picture. Talk about the pet tie-down link. Yeah, so inside uh, one of our storage bays is a dedicated D-ring uh, to tie that dog leash off to. So you can run the leash up and through the bottom of that and attach it to the D-ring. Um, you no longer need to bring that extra stake that, that you know, that puts down into the yard or tie the dog off to the door handle or the stairs where it's blocking your entrance. Um, as you're coming in and out of the coach, we made a dedicated area um, to tie your dog off on there. And as we move on, go back, let's see, pet friendly, next uh, user friendly. I'm going to let you go through this because it is really, everything in this coach is laid out to be convenient and easy. And Sue, I'm sure you can uh, comment on this in your 33.1 user-friendly is key to this. So, so walk us through why it's user-friendly. Yeah, and, and the first thing back there is customer feedback for future improvements. And, and this is probably the most important thing. So the ACE has been out since 2011, Steve. It's not a one-year new product out there that just came out in the industry. Every year, we contact our customers um, that purchase throughout that year and we have the opportunity to get feedback for next model years on there. So this is, you know, the 10 years, eight years that this thing's been out, we received all this feedback that's put into this motorhome. So this is a great coach for first time buyers where it has everything they need, or if that person's upgrading, usually they're gonna come back with that checklist of things they might want out of that next motorhome they're looking for. And we're probably gonna have all those check marks that customer's looking for. Um, on this motorhome. So some of the things, uh, the rotocast storage compartments. So it's a injection molded heavy plastic that's out there. Um, there's no carpet for mold or, for uh, mold or mildew. Um, no metal for the rust out there. A matter of fact, every single cargo bay inside the ACE has a drain plug. How easy, easy is that to take a hose uh, the, the clean that out? Uh, side view cameras. 
Um, so this is something that, you know, maybe that customer is debating, you know, about the drivability of the, the class A uh, of going up to that. Well, they get standard two cameras for in each uh, camera in each side view mirror and a backup camera. So as they're going down the highway, they change lanes. You flip on your turn signal, Steve. In that radio, um, your screen is going to show you what's over in the lane beside you before you make that lane change. So it's going to make it easier to drive than maybe a Class C. And it is. They, you know, they they do help. I was in an Ace. Uh, I said a couple of years ago when we took that out and it was at night and I was on the Chicago Skyway at the toll booth and the gate wouldn't work. So oh, I no. had to, I had to back out. No, I had to back out of that <laughs> narrow little thing and work my way over to a, a gate that works. So I can attest to how well that the navigation in the screen works in the backup camera. But here's what's nice is because of the improved electronics, that screen is crystal clear. So I'll let you walk us through the next few items here on, on the list. Yep. Uh, all the ACEs come with, uh, they have the navigation ability. So new for 21, we went to a different radio. We'll talk about that in a couple of slides. Uh, the new radio is going to have Apple uh, CarPlay and Android Auto. Um, the ACEs, the other option is navigation is built in on the, the prior models out there. Um, and those are actually going to be RV rated. Um, so it allows the customers to be able to the program their height and length of the ACE into that. And that will make sure they go, don't go down any roads uh, they shouldn't be on. Um, slide outs. So we've heard a lot of um, stuff over the years on as slide outs keep evolving uh, in the industry on there. Um, one thing that we've done is for, uh, we've now hooked up our slide outs that the ignition has to be running. Um, what that's gonna do is one of the biggest issues was lack of 12 volt power. Um, so that guarantees, since we always hook up the engine batteries to the house batteries, when that engine's running, it's going to make sure that our customers have proper 12 volt power uh, to bring that slide out in or out. Um, and if customers have a, a prior year model, Steve, that's, that's not an issue. Um, if they notice their house batteries are below, you know, are low on power, they just need to fire up the generator and then bring that slide out in or out. Um, our main slide outs on the floor plan. This is something I love that we actually look at when we're designing a floor plan is our full wall slide outs located on the drive side. And that's sometimes customers, they don't think about that before they make that purchase. What that does is it gives them a larger awning, more shade on the campsite space, um, easy to get into their underneath storage. They don't have to bend underneath a slide out uh, to grab that stuff that they want to use. And as we uh, talk about the slide outs here, let's talk about our construction and uh, how the slide walls are put together and the material they're made out of, the HD Max. Yeah. Um, so HD Max is our colored fiberglass on the ACE. Um, so we have that champagne color. Now, what's nice about our HD Max, it's very user friendly. So if customers are going down a, a road or a tree branch or something, they scratch their coach. Um, that champagne color on our sense is the poor gel coat. It's almost all the way through that sidewall. So they can buff it out and it's going to look brand new. They're not going to, we don't just pigment just the outside coating um, of our coach where it's going to have that permanent white mark on that. They scratch it. Um, it's user friendly for the customer so they can buff out that mark. And convenience as we talk about inside and outside. Uh, you, so here's a couple of the new colors, uh, which I love. Uh, we got cup holders and outlets throughout everything. I mean, so kind of run us through the rest of this list here of, of what we have on yeah. some of the great standout features. Yeah, so cup holders in the dinette, cup holders up front for the driver, passenger. We even put one, you know, when the passenger seat swivels around, there's one right down there for them. Um, and again, that's just from prior customer feedback um, to where we want to place outlets inside this coach. Uh, the next one, the enclosed dumping station. Um, so what's nice is, Everything's enclosed. Um, I know that was a question we had earlier, Steve, was um, heat down in the, the, the black tanks. Um, the ACEs, it will either be ducted by the furnace to the holding tank area, or if we're unable to do that per that floor plan, it'll come standard with heated tank pads. 
Um, so we're going to have one or the other for the customers uh, in, on this coach. Uh, auto level. Um, I mean, how simple is this for customers? What's well, nice, A, they get jacks that are standard. You know, they get hydraulic jacks standard um, inside the coach. Um, and when they go to use it, it's as simple as turning it on, hitting the auto, auto level button, and about 30 to 40 seconds, the coach is completely level. They don't have to worry about driving up on leveling blocks or anything um, on this coach. All right. A couple other things to talk about here. Uh, I know we have the curved shower rod and some of our, we have, uh, I mean, the nice glass doors in the corner bath. So really mm -hmm. convenient, beautiful features. Uh, the yeah. valve stem extenders, as you're talking uh, through customers, I, it's something I think people overlook when buying a motorhome. And it's one of those features that I think is important and makes it real easy to check the uh, inside yeah. tire on those. Yeah, and, and think about this is probably one of the features customers are going to be using the most. I mean, they really should be looking at their tire pressure before they go on their trip, if not during the, their trip on there. Um, and we put it on standard for them. That way they have that peace of mind that that inside tire, you know, isn't rubbing in the outside tire going down the road. Yeah, uh, I just want you were talking about the campsite slide. Sue, uh, who wrote and said they're full timing their 33 one. If you read the comment there, they traded up uh, from a class C. It's perfect floor plan for us. We looked at a Murata, chose the ACE. Uh, it was 10K less in price, eliminated the campsite slide. See, just what you're talking mm -hmm. about there. Yeah. Uh, and there's storage everywhere. And uh, we like the rear bumper. And that's something I guess, you know, we, we haven't talked about. But well, while we're here and Sue brought it up, talk about having that steel bumper at the back of the ACE. Yeah, and that's a, a C-class feature is, you know, if if they haven't prepared their back out of their driveway and they were the, the bump their mailbox or backing up and they, they bump into the tree, that steel bumper is going to take that blow. And it's not going to cause that fiberglass damage um, as some of the other coaches out there. So it's very user friendly uh, for that of preventing a, a high maintenance bill um, on that. All right. And as a uh, go back, uh, we, we got this, go to the slide, the next slide up here, Tom, with the two exteriors, because I want to show folks the uh, 2021 colors. I really like these. I mean, what what are these colors? Because I, I love the way these things look. Yeah, the, the, the first one, the blue new for uh, 21 is going to be blue flame. Um, and the red one is going to be fire brick red. So what we've also done is we've added partial paint up front on the ACE. You notice that by that windshield, the black, um, we're now painting that just to give a, a more of an appearance uh, for this motor home. And there's our mirrors we were talking about with the side view cameras, uh, awnings. we got a couple questions about awnings coming up. You can see all the storage bays. We have uh, exterior television as well. Uh, mm -hmm. So some great features out there. Uh, what do we got in the next slide here, Tom? I can't remember all of the, <laughs> I can't remember. I, th all I think uh, some of the upgrades. Yes, uh, there we what go. You get on the ACE. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, not only does it have the user friendly, pet friendly, family friendly features, but we're also going to put in some uh, higher end features uh, inside this ACE motor home where we just talked about the partial paint is now standard uh, that you're going to be getting on this. Uh, the frameless windows. Um, almost nobody else in this size of a motorhome is doing what the the diesel pushers, the the high end class A gases are doing of using a a ten inch frameless window. Um, and what's nice about that is you know as the customers are out you know down in Texas where that sun's strong, that seal's hidden uh, from the sun, so it can't crack it and dry it out over time on these. Well, the, um, the other thing, too, to point out about the windows is that everything on that side, well, outside of the electric outlets, we frame in aluminum, which is yes. one of those little hidden value things. And talk about why that's important. Yeah. So um, two things. One, at Thor Motor Coach, um, every floor plan that we build is custom for that floor plan. Um, so the ACE 27.2. Um, we're going to build off a jig just for that floor plan. So every, like what you said, every window, the water heater, the furnace, everything's framed out in aluminum. Uh, just like at home, Steve, you know, all of our windows are framed out. Uh, we're not going to use wood uh, in a motor home. So we're going to frame it out in the aluminum um, on here. 
All right. I'll let you continue down the list. Uh, a lot of great other features, these upgrades. So talk about them because these are a wonderful addition to this product. Yeah, the uh, the radio screens. Uh, we're going to put in a, a 10 inch screen rather than the the, the six inch screens uh, inside the Ace. The WineGuard 2.0. Um, this is an awesome feature that we're providing the ability to our customer. So the, those that don't know, the WineGuard consists of three things. One, it's your local antenna. So no longer do you have the old crank up antennas. The, you know you have to crank up, or before you leave the campsite, you have to crank it down. Um, this one's gonna be it's gonna be very strong. Give those customers a lot of channels. Um, the second thing that it has is it has a Wi-Fi extender. So as people want to use Wi-Fi on the go, whether it be for business or for pleasure out there, um, they have the ability to use public Wi-Fi signals. So it's been known if you're at the back of a campground, your Wi-Fi signal might, might not be as strong as if you're next to where the router is. And that's where that Wi-Fi extender is going to come into play. And it's going to enhance that signal for you at the back of the campground as if you're next to that router. And then the third thing now uh, that customers have is they have the ability to have Wi-Fi uh, in their motorhome and, and have a, a mobile hotspot. Yeah, and it's really easy to set up. We have uh, some walkthroughs on our YouTube channel of that. Uh, you get your data plan um, if you want to have a hotspot on the go. It also the Wi-Fi range in that somewhere around one and a half miles, so it can really pull in a strong mm -hmm. single. And the great thing I like about that is when you do pull in a Wi-Fi signal, say you're at a campground or you're tapping in, you're, you're boondocking somewhere, you can take that Wi-Fi signal and set up that to be secure for yourself as well. So that's really nice. Uh, yeah. Another thing I like that is going to be an option this year is I know before in the past that the ACE was prepped for solar, but this year you can actually get solar. So what size of panel and how does, is this, I have a controller kind of walk us through this for 2021. Yep. So for 2021, we're now offering a hundred watt solar panel as a option on all of our floor plans on there. So it would come hooked up. If they don't choose that option, it's solar prepped where it's a plug and play. Um, so it's something that could be easily added after market. But that's, again, another feature where we're making it very convenient for our customers that, you know, if it's selected, they're ready to go. And we have upgraded uh, the ACs on top. I know for a while there it was just the one, but we went to two, which means you get to 50 amp service. So talk about uh, the different mm -hmm. power and cooling options that you can get in the ACE. Yeah, and this has evolved over the years where, you know, this is something that was a necessity for people, uh, having two ACs inside this motor home. And we had it as an option when we first came out with it. And the thing to point out too, Steve, is this is a true dual AC. Um, it's not something where this coach has an energy management system um, where depending on what all they're running um, with the, when we go to the dual AC, we upgrade it's a 50 amp motor home and they get the bigger own in 5,500 gen uh, rather than the own in 4,000. And we have uh, led lights, nice little, nice little green feature there. Uh, the cabinets mm -hmm. talk about that. I, that's one thing I don't think that uh, gets mentioned uh, here is how we mount the cabinets anchored to steel. So talk a little bit about that. Yeah. When we're doing our, our lamination, um, in the factory anywhere that we're going to be anchoring a, a screw to the sidewall so the big one the cabinets um we place the electro galvanized steel strapping in between the wall layers so that way as our workers when they're anchoring the the cabinets to the wall all those screws are going through that steel strapping uh, and gripping onto that so you know these roads that customers are traveling on that they're, they're rough so we're taking that um into account as we're building our motor home and we're, we're looking at how to build this box the, the handle these rough roads. And, and that's the thing that customers appreciate, you know, years after driving their motor home, you know, every bump they hit doesn't sound like the cabinets are about ready to, to fall off the wall. Yeah. And as you talk about building this box, the way that we build it is a, a very stringent process. We, we use Moride, who's a great upfitter. So let's walk people through what Moride does for the ACE and how that helps the overall driving performance and storage and build. Mm -hmm. yep. So when we get our chassis in from Ford, um, we're actually going to outsource it. We're going to send it over to Moride. Uh, they're going to be our foundation builder, um, where 
the attention to detail that they can provide us, Steve, is top notch. And they actually guarantee us less than a quarter inch variance from corner to corner on all of our, our chassis on there. So uh, how that is beneficial to our customers is as this motorhome goes down our assembly line, we have a flat and flush floor. And um, we're not gonna have the stacking variances as we continue to build this coach. It makes it very easy on our, our line workers um, as they stack on the cabinet tree and everything. And a matter of fact, when customers look at our finished coaches, there's no quarter on, there's no trim up top by the ceilings um, because it's a, a flush and flat box on there. Um, Moride, the, other people use Moride in the industry, um, mm -hmm. but nobody has more degree to engineering um, with Moride going into their coach. So our degree to engineers work very closely. Moride actually provides us with a team of degree to engineers for the communication back and forth and our engineers are providing more ride what we want built um, on, on there. All right. And we have all the floor plans uh, pulled up here and they're all very unique. They all have uh, some similar features. I have some great features here. Uh, there, there's the third. There's your 33 one, Sue, right down there at the very yeah. bottom there with, uh, with you, you got all the seating options in there. So. What are some of the, the, the great features of, of, of these floor plans here that yeah. I mean, when you're, you're out? I mean, so what, what are some of the feedback you get? What are what are people liking? And, and walk us through that because you deal with this all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's just start up at the top of the, the 27.2. What's unique about this is for a 27-foot motorhome, you get a king bed and you get the opposing seating up front. Usually when customers are looking you know, at this short of a motorhome, they're either going to get just the dinette or just the, the sofa up front. Um, so we found a way to give customers that big living area up front in a 27 foot motor home. Uh, now, the third, I, go ahead. I was going to ask on, on all these beds here, and it's a question that we get quite a bit. People say, okay, well, I got this bed, this East to West bed. Am I going to be able to access this and use it if I'm going down the road or do these flip up? Yep. The, the 27.2 um, does flip up. Um, that is the, the only ace that's going to flip up on there. But by doing that, you can look, you, you get the same size bathroom that's in most of the other aces um, out there. Same size shower. We didn't shrink stuff down that the fitted inside this coach. All right. Walk us through the uh, 30.3. Yeah. The 30.3, a couple of big selling features is one we talked about the outside kitchen comes on this floor plan. Um, the other one is this is kitchen countertop space. So I know you guys do that segment on mobile meals. Mm -hmm. um, so the people that love the cook, this is one of the perfect floor plans for them of having all that countertop space. Um, and then all the seating is facing the their campsite space um, as well. That's one of the things that's important to us um, is being able to watch our kids, um, you know, as we're, we're maybe sitting inside, they're playing out at the campsite space um, on this. The 30. The dot, yep, mm -hmm. 30 four. Yep. Um, this will be one of the best in class exterior storage, Steve. So they get a, a mega storage underneath that bed, access from the outside. Uh, perfect for if they want to bring the grandkids' bicycles or anything large, they have the store out there. And then they also get the benefit on the campsite space of three more exterior storage compartments um, all on there. And then they have a couple on the other side. And then I talked about that arrangement um, on the 30.3. This is also on the 30.4, where the dinettes on the campsite, their sofas looking out to their campsite space as well um, on this. And you got the north south bed on that. And as we move yeah. on to the bunkhouse, uh, this is yeah. I, I, I love the bunkhouse. Yep. And we, we made a change in our bunkhouse here recently. Uh, we went from a 30.2 to the 32.3. And the reason we did that was we heard a lot of king bed um, on the, the bunk beds. And so that's what we added here. So the customers on this floor plan get a bunk bed with king. And again, I'm going to talk about that slide out. This full wall slide out is on the, the drive side. You know, the, the other way customers can do a bunk bed floor plan is some of them are putting it on that, that campsite space. Um, then that, that awning is not that big of a shade space for customers when they're using this motorhome out there. 
And then finally, the 33.1, where you have all the seating options, you have the big bed. So walk us through the, the granddaddy of the ace. Yes. Um, so the first thing you're going to have is where, where do you want to sit? Yeah. Uh, what's well, nice <laughs> is you, you got the, the theater seats across from a TV. Um, and then you have a, a sofa and the dinette on this. So uh, seat belts on this, uh, you got seat belts for eight in, inside the, this class A. Um, and that's awesome for customers. Um, the bathroom is going to be one of the largest, the 30 by 36 shower with the curved shower rod. A nice countertop space you can see in this picture. Um, and then the, the king bed in the back. And, and what our customer mentioned on that 331 that they loved was the amount of exterior storage space on this floor plan is just incredible what our engineers were able to do. And in some of the one of the things that we've added and i will hand it to our design team as we move to this slide that home collection is beautiful it's absolutely gorgeous yeah our designers um tom actually go to the the next picture here on this was this has just been a home run uh for our company and kathy and joel and everyone that was going into this when they were doing the planning what's nice about this was you know, it's a it's an off white cabinetry. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes when I'm talking to customers and trying to describe this, I, I mentioned that you know the, the new home collection is a, a white cabinets, and they kind of almost get a little scared at first. It's not a stark white; it's a, more of a cream a off white. And that's a great picture too, showing what they did was all the the black hardware, um, the sink. They they went to a black um, faucet. The the handles are all black, and it really ties in to our window trim. Um, you can see that that black uh, frame on all of our frameless windows on there. Uh, this just looks like a complete um, comfort of what you get in a residential house. Yeah, it's it's absolutely beautiful. And one of the other features I saw as we were looking at the uh, top, I want to talk about because it's a great feature for 2021. And Tom, if you want to pull up the slide there, that new radio system that we have is really, I love Android Auto. I really do. So let's pull, uh, there's some of the, some of the updates, but yeah, this radio is great. I mean, it's just, it sticks out. It's beautiful. So speak to what I, I don't know. I got a chance to play with one for about 15 minutes. I don't know if you've been able to, uh, experience it yet, but it's a really great system. Yeah. I haven't got a chance to, to test it out yet, but I know some of the features that it has is Android auto, Apple CarPlay, like what you said, Steve, that, you know, when we rent a car, I mean, that's one of the things I look up for when I pick out my rental car is something I can use CarPlay in um, because it allows me to use my Google Maps or Waze or whatever service I'm used to using. I can now use it inside this motorhome. Um, and as, you know, people are continuing to update apps, um, those customers can use, if there's an RV rated app out there for GPS, they can use it in this this radio now yeah it's uh it's really nice it's got every single bell and whistle you could think of something mm -hmm. else for 2021 let's talk about because it has and we'll talk i guess we'll combine this all together so i'll let you kind of merge okay. all this together with the new f53 chassis what it brings not only as you see here we got a digital gauge cluster new wheel new engine so i'll let you combine all of those and talk about the new f53 yeah uh let's since we got this slide out let's talk about the new dash steering wheel um so what Ford's done is they they kind of brought their chassis more current to the automobiles. Um, where similar to in the cars, you can see um, the how many miles sell empty. Um, that dash is now digital. Um, on the steering wheel, it's going to be more of a SUV kind of feel steering wheel rather than the the big old bus uh, style steering wheel on the Class A's. Um, you can see right there the buttons are now coming on the steering wheel where the, the cruise control um, is located right there for them. Yeah, it's really nice. It adds to the driving experience. Um, as we go through, there's a nice shot of uh, some of the gauges and we'll do a little walkthrough uh, when we get our hands on one. We'll do a video on how to work it and, and all the options. Uh, let's talk about one of the biggest upgrades to that F53 is what they've done uh, with changing from a V10 down to the V8. Yeah. Um, and Tom, go ahead and flash to that, that slide here so customers can kind of see um, what's coming now. So uh, for 
Ford is coming out with a new 2020. Um, it's going to be a 7.3 V8. That's going to replace the V10 that's been used for years and years. Um, some of the updates, uh, horsepower now is going to be 350 horse and 468 torque. Um, it is going to be a six-speed transmission still. Um, so I know some of the questions I've gotten from customers is, is it the six or the 10? Uh, it's going to be the, the six-speed transmission on there. Uh, towing capacity is going to be, we're still using the 8,000 pound hitch, um, allowing customers to go past maybe that 5,000 pound towing, uh, depending how they're going to load up their motorhome on this. Uh, we talked about the upgrades, of the instrument cluster. The other thing they're getting is the uh, auto uh, headlights, the brights. Um, that's going to be coming on this. Um, a tilt and telescopic steering wheel. So now it's going to kind of like the SUVs out there can custom fit who's driving that, that coach. And then hill start assist. And, and for customers that don't know what hill start assist is, this is awesome to have in a motorhome. Um, this is something a couple of years ago when Haley and I, my wife, were out at Mount Rushmore. Um, before you get, if anyone's been, if you haven't been out there, before you get into that park, you're going up this very, very steep incline. And we we're in a, a, a rental car at that time. And, you know, as you're, you're backed up, so you're, par, you're stopped on this huge incline. And I just remember as I was hitting the gas, as I was letting go of the brake, you know, worried about rolling backwards on here. And I was talking to Haley about, I can't imagine being in a, you know, a motor home or, or something um, on this large of an incline. And now Ford has this ability where what this does is when you let go of the brake, it's not going to let you roll backwards. Um, it's got that hill start. Um, so you don't have to let go of the brake and hit the gas at the same time uh, in, in this new coach. Yeah, I can't wait to drive one. I, I, when we took the video and photos that you're seeing in the slideshow, I was able to drive one across the street. That is literally all the drive time <laughs> I have one is I took it from this parking lot over to where we shoot our, our videos and photos. I've driven it across the street. So, so I, I can't wait to get some seat time in this. I really yeah, can't. Yeah, same here. Yeah. So as we go on, we got a ton of questions. You want to start taking some questions? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do some questions here. We'll start right at the top. Uh, and I think you just addressed this here. Will the new uh, engine have the 10 speed automatic? It'll be the, the six speed. All right. Um, do the new class A's chassis, does it have Ford's new RV tune suspension with springs and shocks, larger sway bar, any other chassis upgrades coming with this F53? Uh, the ACE is not going to. Um, okay. uh, does the ACE offer tankless continuous hot water as standard or an additional upgrade? And what is, if not, what is the gallon capacity of the wa hot water heater? Yep. Uh, great question. Um, it's going to have the, the six gallon um, uh, gas electric hot water heater on there. So it's not going to be the instant. What's nice about it is it's a 17.8 gallon uh, replenish rate per hour. Uh, so it's a quick replenish rate. The minute you start using it, it's going to start that replenish uh, process on there. Um, and one thing I want to talk about too, on the ACE, there's very, very few options. You have the, the solar, 100 watt solar panel, the child safety tether. Um, besides that, everything's been built into that customer's base price. Um, so they get the value of the drop down beds, the dual AC, all that, where that's going to matter when customers are trading in that motor home years down the road, because they're going to get the value for that since it was reflected in that base price. All right. Another question here. Another great question. Is the roof TPO, one piece fiberglass or something other? Uh, TPO is what we're going to use. So TPO is very user friendly. Um, it gives customers the ability, depending on um, how severe something was, they could maybe spot fix it where they don't have to replace a whole fiberglass roof on this. And TPO, those that don't know, it's used widely out in the commercial. Um, I know Walmart uses it pretty much on every building that they build now um, on the flat top roof in the commercial industry. All right. And this is going to be a hard one to answer since we these are all new and we've kind of been shut down because of COVID. Any idea on the fuel economy with the new uh, Ford chassis in the motor? Uh, not yet, Steve. That's something we're kind of waiting on getting. Um, you know, in the motorhome segment, we're not like the automobile industry 
Um, we rely heavily on, you know, transport companies, people that have had them to kind of provide us uh, with the, the fuel economy. And, you know, as far as estimate, it's really hard to estimate because it depends, you know, if somebody's got a heavy foot or, you know, that's going to drive it um, at a certain RPM on there. And a question about the ACs, are they available with heat pumps? Uh, they are not. All right. Uh, does the uh, question here, does the over the driver and passenger drop down bunk have a manual crank in case the motor fails? Um, I'll have to get back with you on the, the ACE one because um, of the mechanisms that we're going to use on there to, to find out what that override uh, manually, what it would be and be able to explain I, that to them. Yeah, I know there's something to do with uh, the way the, the mechanism that it comes down in the motor and the reset. Um, mm -hmm. so yeah, we can get uh, back with you. I think we may have done a video on that bunk a while back. So if I can find that Kent, we'll post the link for you. Yeah. Uh, here's a question about, uh, refrigerators. Uh, are they one, two or three way and what size are they? Yep. It'll be the, the two way, um, on the, on the fridges on there. So as you're, you're driving down the road, you'll be able to use the, the LP. Um, when you're plugged into shore power or running the generator, that fridge will be using the 110 power on there, Steve. And is the refrigerator vent side mounted or mounted rooftop chimney style? Uh, it'll be side. All right. Um, let's see. In some of our Class B vans, rear passenger seats have forward facing three point seat belts. Are three point seat belts available, pass, uh, available behind the driver's and passenger seats? Uh, they are not. All right. And moving on, uh, here's a great question. And I know you kind of talked about it, but I'll let you hit it again. The outside storage compartments, will they rot, mold, or mildew? And do they have drains? Yep. So because of the rotocast that we're using, you don't have to worry about them rotting or that mold or mildew. Uh, and all the bays in the ACE have that drain plug um, used in them. Okay. Uh, great. Leave it right here, Tom. Leave the slideshow right here as Ryan gets onto that question. Go back on the outside awning. Uh, let's talk about the outside awning. Is it armless? Does it have a wind sensor? Does it have LED lights? Yep. Uh, it'll have LED lights. Now the LED lights, what's nice about this, we made the change multiple years ago where instead of the end of the awning two, we placed them on the, the side of the motorhome. Uh, the benefit of that was customers can use those lights without the slide out, out or, or without the awning out um, on there. Uh, you can see it does have arms that we're using on the ACE. Now, the awning that we're using is Carefree FlexGuard awning. So if you're looking at this picture here, look at the, the first ACE. Um, you can see how that underneath the awning is all white up until you get to the side of the coach where it's a black strip. Um, what's nice about that is that black material is enclosing this awning on the ACE. Um, so, you know, that's going to protect it from the UV rays uh, of breaking down the awning over time. And uh, is it is it wind wind sensor? Is it wind sensor? Did you answer that? It, was... it will not be wind sensor. Okay. No. All right. Uh, I do know that it is pitch adjustable, so you can adjust the pitch on that. Uh, Kent. Mm -hmm. uh, question here. Let's talk about the sidewalls caps. Um, are the sidewalls and uh, caps UV protected, so they will not be susceptible to damaging oxidation? Uh, well, I'll I know, have to find out. Yeah. Yeah. You know what, Chris, uh, our, exactly. our uh, product, yeah. Uh, our, yeah uh, Chris Carter, who's our product development guy on this, has answered that. Um, and he says, like anything else, park it inside a garage, keep it covered. Uh, so we got a nice on that. Here's another question I know you get all the time uh, a spare tire. Does it come with a spare tire? Uh, it does not come with a spare tire. Okay. Um, and we talked about the safety features. Uh, which of the following F53 Class A motorhome options are Thor going to have with the new daytime running lights? What are some What are some of the safety features that come with the new F53? I know Chris has got a pretty decent answer below. Um, but I'll, so I'll just read Chris's answer. Uh, it says we do not order engine block heater. We have the 210 alternator. The other uh, items you noted are not available. They're actually not available on the F53. So uh, there's that. Uh, question from David. Is a full body paint package with protective mask available? Yep. Uh, years ago, we used to offer the ACE in a, in a full body paint. Um, for the last couple of years, we used just the whole HG Max. And then recently, we brought back the, the partial paint um, on the ACE. So no full body paint available. 
um, but we do have the the partial standard now. Okay. Uh, question uh, from David: Are the holding tanks heated, or is this an option? Are the frameless dual pane are frameless dual pane windows available? So he's got two coming at you there. Yep. Uh, so the first one, um, it'll either be ducted by the furnace, um, or it'll have heated uh, tank pads on the the black and gray um, on there. So it'll have one or the other. Um, and then the second question, can you repeat that one? Yeah, sure. Are frameless dual pane windows available? Uh, they are not on the ACE. All right. Uh, moving on to the question this time about solar and, and kind of uh, oh, yeah. talk a little bit about um, on the ACE. I mean, on motorhomes, you know, we could do the the dual panes on that, but you have that large windshield up front that we we can't do the the dual on that. All right, let's talk about solar panels. Can solar panels and a monitor be installed for, um, from, from the factory? Yes, that's now uh, an option this year is having the 100 watt panel with the controller all hooked up uh, for our customers ready to go. And with ours, they had the ability to, to add more too, if they ever wanted to. I, I know they make it very easy to um, plug and play uh, additional panels if they wanted. All right. A question coming in is a whole coach filtration system available and is a black tank, black tank flush system available? Yep. The, the black tank uh, is flush as standard on all the ACE floor plans. Uh, the whole uh, water filter is not available on the ACE, but there's stuff they can do aftermarket uh, and putting it on. Okay. Uh, will the ACE models have an available large screen with nav and will there be a digital dash option? Uh, is they saw from the pictures, yeah, yeah. they have the, the large 10 inch screen and the, the new digital uh, dash from Ford. Yeah. It's a good, the radio. I can't wait to get into it. Just, it looks, there it is. It just looks great. Uh, it yeah. looks great. Uh, here's one from Matt coming in, uh, with the new upgrades, uh, what will be the increase on price in the 2021 compared to the 2020? Yeah, I would just get with your, your local dealer. Um, as these 21s are now starting to the ship out there, um, I'd contact one of your local dealers to find out. And I'll show you uh, here in just a few minutes, Matt, how you can find a dealer near you through our website if you don't have one that you're working with and uh, I'll get you some resources here. On the ACE, uh, are there non-slide out floor plans available? Uh, there are not. Um, so what's nice on this is, you know, the, the slide outs we made, we've taken a lot of uh, valves over the years. You know, we patented the, the three tracks uh, system out there that's a, a thor motor coach so we've looked at um making sure our, our slide outs you know the issues that we we didn't have when we first came out with the, the swim tech on there um so all of our floor plants have a slide out a small one um some of them do on there all right uh let me scroll down to the question here the next one coming in uh hello from san diego well hello mike thanks for tuning in from san diego we appreciate it today uh we have a 2018 30.4 and we love it what is new on the 2021 30.4 mike you might you might want to replay uh this a little bit later here but if you want to hit uh ryan kind of touch on some of the the bigger highlights of what's coming to the 30.4 and across the ace line this year because we've covered a lot of that over the last hour here yep um you'll have the the partial paint standard you'll have the 100 watt solar panel option on the ace the new um dash the new radio and some uh decor changes would be new on the, the 21 models all right. And <laughs> Matt, can you put the slide back up listing all of the changes on the 2021? <laughs> you know, we got uh, we got that. And if Tom can can find that. But yeah, there's so much going on uh, um, of with this. Someone else asked, hey, can we get a copy of the slideshow? What we're going to do is we're going to actually rerun this on our social media channels um, for everybody to, if they want to watch again and they can kind of slow it down. And what uh, happens here is when Ryan was answering the questions, I tagged it. So you can go straight to that, um, right to that time code into the video. So you can take a look at that. And I know Tom is kind of scrolling through here in the middle. There's the ACE upgrade. Oh, those are the uh, upgrade. Upgrade. Uh, keep going. There'll be is another one slide more? here. I think there is one more pass there. There's the new graphics, new home collect. There we right go. There. There's, some of, there's some of the new stuff coming on. Yeah. 
So we got the LED lights. We got the solar options. Oh, um, one that we did, uh, yeah. the press top, uh, okay. countertops. So we removed the the T-mold uh, countertops throughout the, the whole coach now. Explain that to me. What is a uh, what 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 that what that means? What the difference? yeah? So the the press top is going to be completely wrapped um, on there. Where the the T mold, you had the seams uh, throughout that. Um, so we went to we used it last year just into the kitchen gallery, and customers love that feature. That for twenty one, we continued it throughout the whole motor. Okay. And I do want to get uh, a couple of people wanted to know a little more information. What you would want to do is watch our website because that will be changing here as we get uh, more, more assets to show you on our 2021 products. Again, with uh, COVID shutdown, we're all working. I'm in my basement. Ryan is in his house. Uh, the plants are just starting to come back to work. We had a couple last week. We have more going back online on Monday. So we'll be able to get you more information. Someone had asked about, uh, let me share my screen here. Oh, uh, there we go. I'm going to share this. So this is our website. This is thormotorcoach.com. A lot of information here that you can use. Uh, located dealer is one of them. So if you hit the located dealer tab, you can put in your information here and then we can locate our dealer there. Or if you'd like to uh, contact somebody, we have our coach link sales advisor. If you click on the sales advisor tab, some information here, you fill out, you know, you can leave a little message. Hey, I'm really looking for this. And what's great about coach link is they can actually connect you not only with the dealer but but get in depth what are you looking for how many people are you going to be traveling with how are you planning on use this and help you find a floor plan because i know ryan it's one of the things that um we have uh talked about before is um i'm screen sharing i just want to over there hide eyes i'll hide that is choosing a floor plan is important and you really want to get the right one because sometimes people think i like this but it may not be the right one for their family and their needs Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I know uh, Heather does a, a great job connecting with customers and, you know, if they have questions, she'll get them in touch with us, the, the reps too, as well, uh, to be able to answer maybe any more questions that the customer might have or maybe feedback we received from prior customers of what they liked about the, the floor plans and why. Yeah, Matt wants his in a, uh, he wants a 23.32.3 uh, in blue flame. So he's already oh, got very his nice. order. He's already got his order. <laughs> Thank you very much, Matt. Uh, we'll keep you updated. Is there anything else you want to get in before we uh, wrap up and uh, go on our way today? Because we've got no, a lot of ground. Yeah, I mean, the, the big thing is just how the ACE has continued to evolve over the years and continue to lead the way in innovation in this shorter class C market out there. And it's just a well thought out motorhome. You know, as people are out looking right now for their families of ways to travel uh, with everything that's going on, um, it has all the family friendly, pet friendly and user friendly features that, that they're going to be looking for. Yeah. And I can attest, and I know you can as well, as we have both taken them out on family vacations. They really are a wonderful, and I know, Sue, you agree because you're full-time and in yours. It's just a great motorhome to travel in. It really is. Yeah. yeah. And just the, the memories that I, I know we made with our family when we took ours out and, you know, we're looking for the, the this year again. Um, as soon as we got back from that trip, we, we actually reserved the campsite again for the, the next year. Yeah. Yeah. We got to, we got to pick one out. We're hoping we can get out this summer too. We'll see how the rest of the summer plays out and hope everything clears up and everybody stays healthy. Cause that is very, very important. We appreciate your time today, Ryan. Thank you very much for taking a uh, time out of your schedule to talk to everybody. Everybody who is watching today, we appreciate this again. Watch thermotorcoach.com as we get more material on all of our products. We'll be posting that. If you'd like to go through the replay, I'm going to post this and it, it takes an, an hour or so for this to kind of, process and get ready to post we're going to do that so everybody enjoy your day ryan thank you very much we're going to yeah. keep continuing these uh look for one next week i believe we're going to do uh our miramar we got to some images of a 2021 miramar so that's coming your way next week so thanks everybody have a great day have a great weekend and we will see you next week